Morning of day 10, what a beautiful day it is out there this morning. I wanted to have a shave, but I can't because of continuity. I've got to look the same as the video we started yesterday, so I can't have a shave, but I'll drop the kids off and then straight into the workshop. This is the way we brush our teeth, we brush our teeth, we brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth early in the morning. <laughs> Come on, keep it moving. Side to side. The chewy on the back. Hang, hang, hang. Ha. Lovely. Great job, Nelly. Don't know why we're doing it in the living room. Give us a wave. No, no, no. No waves. No. <laughs> Laura and I love to give things away. And Laura's, I don't know how, but she's met this lady online who uh, I think works for a church, a charity of some sort, and they help uh, single parents. So there's a young mother who's got a newborn baby, uh, is in need of some bits and pieces around the house. So we're just cleaning up Lennon's old cot and uh, she's coming around to collect it along with lots of other little bits and pieces. So hopefully she'll like it. Back over in the workshop and straight on to shooting another video with the Silverland team. This is the one we explained yesterday about was putting the floorboards down on top of the floor joists. And I've got a great little magic trick about taking them up, putting some vents in place and insulation to help with the U values of your home. So keep an eye out for the video. Right, we're out. <laughs> Cup of tea time, I think. <laughs> I've done all this area, pinning all of this membrane down with these drawing pins without knocking the box off. I get to the last two little runs. What does he do? Knock them all off. Drawing pins everywhere. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? I'm stuck inside for the last couple of days doing insulation videos in the workshop. And look at the weather. The weather is cracking the flags. Lovely and sunny. A bit cloudy, blue skies. I did most of the work on my roof last week in the rain. <laughs> and at the start of this week, sod's law. In there, so let me remove that a minute. This was the plank I originally cut. Oh, that camera, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry, the second one on there, okay. Now, straight away, I can see there's quite a big gap as this tongue goes into the groove there. So if I move that one away, this plank would have been my, if I remember rightly, my third one here. And remember, we cut it between the third and the fourth one. And I cut the tongue off the fourth one, which I think is still over there. But this one that has the groove in it, I would probably just took off a millimetre or two. And that would have been the width of the blade itself, which is not a problem. That's fixed down there now. Just this new one that goes over, we will have what will look like uh, a bigger gap than these but in fact the tongue is going in there so you've got equal strength there what you needed it's just not a problem certainly if you're going to be covering this later with a carpet or any other type of floor over the top of it just took a little bit away as well just the width of a blade just off this it's not a problem it's pinned down i've still got the groove in there and this tongue will slide in and it's not a problem having this gap because if you're going to cover it with another floor it's fine. Now even adding a different dimension to insulating your floor. It's the icing on the top of the key. So another good day filming where we've completed three more energy saving tips for Silverline tools. So once they're edited in a couple more weeks time, they will be up on their YouTube channel. So a great day, a great few days there, filming with uh, the team in the workshop and completed three more videos. Uh, and still in to see everyone having tea. Lennon. Oh, hello, Tiger. How are you? You right, Nelly? Where's Nelly? She's hiding from me because she heard my voice. <laughs> I have that effect on everyone. The staff, the wife, friends, family, everything. Hey. 
Where's Nelly? Here she is. Hello, Tiger. Yay. <laughs> How are we getting on? Are we doing good eating? Yes? Yeah, I have to wash my hands. Okay. So it's very exciting and dark in our kitchen or uh, dining room at the moment because the kids have got glow sticks. If Nelly ate all of her dinners, she got her 10th. Um, what are these called? Pom poms, little uh, balls that she puts in her jar. And then she gets to pick a prize and she's picked a magic glow, what is it? A glow wand. And Lennon's got one too, look, Lennon. What we got? Let's see. Wow, look at that on you. Isn't that cracker? Can we put the lights on now? Yeah. So, I've just watched I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here with Matt Hancock arriving. Mixed feelings, what's your thoughts? I did think it was actually quite funny watching him in some aspects of the task uh, and also that comedian who was with him. It was like they were both pissed. It was quite funny actually. Um, but... Mm, it's not going to go down well in camp, is it? Definitely, definitely not going to go down well in camp. So uh, let us know your thoughts on that. Anyway, it'd be really interesting to know. Uh, finished my dinner before and then had a good hour and a half on my script for Saturday, if Friday, should I say, where uh, I'm hosting the Echo Awards here in Merseyside. It's like the Pride of Merseyside Awards. Well, it was once the Pride of Merseyside Awards. Um, it's a brilliant event. I've been doing it for 10 years now and I love it. Really, really love it. It's one of my favourite ones of the whole year. I'm uh, hosting this year with the beautiful Emma Jessen, dear friend of mine. She's the weather girl on ITV. So, known her for many years but never hosted an event with her. So, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, okay. So, good night. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for joining. <laughs>